Okay. Okay, we have a puppy here that his ears are in pretty good shape, but we're going to go ahead and re-glue him one more time. As you can see, we've taken all the hair off on the head here, but enough so that it can hold the glue. You can clip them down or you can hand pull them. This has been hand pulled. And if you notice, we've got all the fringe left on the inside of the ear because we need that on the tip and on the inside edge to get that, have something for the, ear, the uh, glue to adhere to. All right. So I'm using Tear Mender, which you can get online or you can get at any tractor supply store. Um, it works really good. It's easy to get off. Okay, we're going to apply it on the tip of the ear and have quite a bit of a, a, a slot of it and down along the edge of the ear all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and hope that he doesn't move his head. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do the tip of the ear because we want it to dry a little so it's a little so it gets good and tacky. All right, so we've got both ears. This is a very simple procedure. Anybody can do it. The trick is getting both ears equal. You put your thumb underneath, you flip the ear, and this one you see the natural break. When I take my thumb under, you can see where the natural break is. So that's where we want to press and hold. I always get my tip, the, the corner, or the fold first, and then I bring it down so that the tip of the ear is pointing to the corner of the eye. Now some dogs, if their ears are not set up on their head high, like this dog's ears are set up, up on his head. If they're set lower, you might want to point them up and lay them more up on top of the head. So there's one ear. Very simple. Okay, let's do the other ear. Same thing. Thumb. See where the natural fold is? You fold it here and you work it down tip of the ear pointing to the eye. Okay, now here's the trick. You want to bring your fingers under behind the ears and make sure that they're equal. So this amount and this amount is the same and the placement of the tip of the ear should be pointing to the corner of the eye. Okay? See, this dog has a little bit of a divot in his ear. So what we're doing by doing this is we're strengthening the cartilage because we're taking the weight off of the cartilage and the weight off of the muscle of the ear so that it can strengthen on its own and it'll cause that cartilage to get stronger and the cartilage will fold instead of dipping in. Okay? Same way with this one. So these ears are, are balanced. They're equal. And we'll keep him on the table for about 10 minutes until the glue has really set because the only thing they like to do is they like to get down and rub on things to try to get the ears down. Once they get used to the ears being up, they're fine. Took what, five minutes? We're done. Thank you very much.